Okay, here is a free response question from the 2010 AP Chemistry exam that deals with a titration curve. There it is there. Hey, let, without even reading the question, that is a pretty low pH. I think that's going to be a strong acid, and it's going up to a pH of 12. Would that be a weak base or a strong base? I think it's going to be a strong base. Let's see if I got it right. Yes, a solution of 0.1 molar hydrochloric acid and 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide, those are both strong, are prepared. 40 mils of one of the solutions is added to a beaker and then titrated with the other solution. A pH electrode is used to obtain the data that are plotted in the titration curve shown above. There's no question here. Uh, on the titration curve mixture above, circle the point that corresponds to the equivalence point. Well, I think that would be right there. That's your equivalence point. Is there anything hiding under here? Oh boy, I, I actually couldn't see that question, so identify the solution that was initially added to the beaker. Well, it would be the acid, and you drip in the base because the pH goes up. Boy, is that an easy question. And I'd say it's the central spot. The point with the coordinates uh, 40 and 6 point, 40 and 7. Yeah, fine. These are nice, easy questions. At the equivalence point, how many t moles of titrant have been added? Moles, that's interesting. Uh, well, you have 40 mils of 0.1 molar, right? So that's 0 0.04 times 0.1. I think it's 0.004 moles. How do we do? There it is, 0 0.004 moles. Yay! The same titration is to be performed again. This time they're going to use an indicator. Use the information in the table below to choose a good indicator. Well, it better be around 7. This is the closest, I think. Look at these ones. They are way off. They're way off. At least methyl red's decent. I guess I'd go with methyl red. Methyl red would be best because its color change will be closest to um, with the pH of 7 that we need. It does change between 4 and 10, so you're, you're on that steep part, so good enough. Continuing. Whoa. What's the difference between the equivalence point and the end point? Well, the equivalence point is dead center when you have equal amounts of acid and base here. The end point would be when you had a indicator when it actually changes color, which is, in my opinion, not as precise. So give you the end point with the indicator, the equivalence point with a pH meter. The equivalence point is when the number of moles is exactly sufficient to react completely. That's well said. The end point is where the point where the indicator undergoes its color change. Looking good so far. On the grid below, sketch the titration curve that would result if the solution in the beaker and burette were re reversed. It looks like I actually uh, already answered it. We're, re we're reversed, and that would be the answer, I think. Yeah, it would go from 12 down to there, and that's the answer. Let's see if that's what it says. One per for starting between 12, you just flip it around and you just go to the, it's just like reverse it, no big deal. And, whoa, did we miss something? They were up to 2011. That was it. Wow, that was a really easy year for asking questions about acids and bases.